How can you make a paper server in Minecraft 1.21.5? We're going to be going over that in this video, allowing you to get a paper server set up and how to add plugins to it. All of that stuff is going to be covered in this video. Now, I don't want to mention that the server we're starting here is not 24-7. It's only going to be up and running when your computer's up and running. It's also only for your friends, your family, people you trust, because anyone who joins this server can DDoS you as well as hit your internet offline. It's also hosted on your own computer, and because of that, you're going to need a decent computer and a decent internet connection in order to run this server. Now, if all that's great, Awesome, this video is for you. Otherwise, we have a solution for you, and it's the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. That's our company, Simple Game Hosting, and there you can easily start a Minecraft server with paper in just one click. It's that easy to get your server up and running, and then you can add plugins to it, you can customize it any way that you want, and it can be public or private, meaning you don't have to worry about security, who joins, all of that stuff, plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out should you have any issues along the way. Like, let's say you had a plugin, the server breaks for whatever reason, Live chat support there is there to help you out. So go check out some game hosting at the first link in the description down below at the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. But if you don't want to use simple game hosting, you want to host a server on your own computer, let's jump into it. First things first, go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on making a paper Minecraft server in text format, which I know some people prefer, but if not, no worries. Go ahead and click the download paper MC button here to go to the official download page. There, click paper, and then Wait a minute, this says 1.21.4. Well, if it says 1.21.5, go ahead and download it. But if not, look, toggle experimental builds. There we go, 1.21.5. Right now, paper 1.21.5 is in like beta, basically. So that means it may have some bugs and things like that that might not have been fixed yet, but that's okay, we can still get the server up and running. So we're gonna go ahead and click paper 1.21.5 here. And after a few seconds, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save it like this, but it's 100% safe to do that. Once you've saved it, it will go ahead and download and we can minimize our browser. Then we wanna create a new folder on our desktop. So right click, new folder. You can name it anything you want. I'm gonna name it paper 1.21.5. Five server. Now we want to find that paper file we downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder, which is where it is for me, right here. We can drag and drop it from there into the folder that's on our desktop, and right like so, it is now in this paper 1.21.5 folder. Awesome. Now what we want to do is right click, create a new text document. So again, that was right click, create a new text document. You can name this anything you want, and then go ahead and open up the new text document. In this text document, we want to go to the description down below and find this. These are our codes. Basically, it's how much RAM we want the server to have. If we wanted to have two gigabytes, we would copy this code from Java to pause. If we wanted four gigabytes, we'd copy this code. That's what I'm going to go with. So select it from the description, right click, copy, and then we want to go back to that new text document. Once you're in it, paste that code. Now click File, Save As, it's important you do Save As, and then we want to name this run.bat. So file name is run.bat, exactly like that, and then the save type as is all files. From there we can go ahead and click Save, and now if we close out of Notepad, we have this run.bat Windows batch file. Now for you, it might not have .bat at the end, if it doesn't, click View, and then click Show and make sure file name extensions is checked. If it's not, it'll just be called Run, but if that is checked, you will be able to see run.bat. Now at this point, there's only one more thing we need to do before we can just start our server, and that's find this paper file here. Right click and rename this to just paper. Now if you have file name extensions on, it'll be paper.jar, but it should be paper.jar or just paper, right like so. And then now when we double click that run.bat file, it's going to attempt to start the server, but it will fail, and that's because we're going to need to agree to the Minecraft ULA. However, if it doesn't attempt to start the server here, it's because you need Java, specifically Java 21 for Minecraft 1.21.5 paper. This is linked in the description down below. It goes over everything you need to know. After you get Java 21, you may want to run the jar fix. That's going to take the jar files, like the paper file you downloaded, and link it back to Java. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and minimize the browser. And this has failed, as you can see. Press any key to continue. We do that, it will close. But we have a lot more files and folders here. We also have this eula.txt. Open that up and change eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File, Save. And there we go. We've now agreed to the EULA. We can close out of that and double click the run.bat file. And you guessed it, this is now going to start up and 
your server is going to be ready to be joined. Now at this point, you're the only person that can join your server. We can see over here, we have the preparing world. Once the world's prepared, it will say done. Once it says done, right there is done, your server is started. Now you can join the server, like I said, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch Minecraft 1.21.5. I'm gonna show you how you can join, and then we'll talk about how you can allow your friends to join this server. So here we are in game, we can go to multiplayer, click proceed, and then add a server. Now I'm gonna name this local connection because only you can join this on your local PC, the same PC that is hosting your server. For the server address, we can do local host, right like so, exactly like that, and click done. After a few seconds, the connection automatically resolves. You can double click on it, and we will see us join the game. Now, I would recommend running around, making sure things are good. My graphic settings are pretty bad on this, but making sure things are good, making sure there's no lag, all of that stuff. And if everything looks good, well then, awesome. You can go ahead and continue on and allow your friends to join. But if you're lagging right now with just you on the server, it's 100% it's gonna lag with your friends. And in that case, you'll need to use a third party host or another method to host your Minecraft server, like Simple Game Hosting, the breakdown of XYZ slash simple, by the way, and to get your server started that way. But right now we're looking good, no lag whatsoever. Paper is actually super efficient. So you may actually be able to run a paper server even if you couldn't run like a vanilla server because it is a lot more efficient than vanilla Minecraft. With that being said, we can run it, we're good to go. How do we allow our friends to join this server? Well, what we wanna do is go to the description down below and go here. This is how to port forward a Minecraft server, including a paper Minecraft server. It goes over everything you need to know in depth, step by step in both video and text format if you like one more than the other. The reason I have to link out to a video by the way it's because YouTube doesn't like us making 30 minute long videos anymore and so we have to do separate guides so we have to go to this port forwarding guide here go check it out it will show you how to port forward and once you're done your friends will be joining your server like a pro Nevertheless, we also have this in the description, which is all of our Minecraft plugin guides. We have done a lot over the years, and it's a, it's a super valuable resource if you're getting into running a paper server. You probably wanna know how to add plugins to your server though, and in order to do that, you would simply go to your server folder here, and add the plugins right here. The popular places to get plugins are Spigot, Modrinth, and Paper Hanger. I will link all three of those in the description down below so you can check those out. That's where I would recommend going to get plugins. Once you've got a plugin, just drag and drop it in here. It'll be a .jar file. You'll just drag and drop it into here and then restart your server, which we can just stop the server over here. We'll go ahead and close out right like so. Click any key to continue and then double click that run dot pad again and your server will now start. It's that easy. Once the plugin's installed, you can also run the PL command from the server's console. And when you do, it will print that what is going on with the server plugins. There's none right now, so nothing is there. But that's how you can do that. We also have some other guides in the description that I'll quickly go over. How to add more RAM to your server using that file that we linked earlier. We explain how that works, how to add more RAM to it. How to allow Java through Windows Defender. This is after you port forward. If you're having issues, this can help you out. And then how to fix a broken Minecraft server. It's just 20 minutes of me fixing Minecraft servers. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. And you're going to learn a lot because your server's probably going to break. Most servers break at some point. So having this is a great way to make sure that gets fixed. But nevertheless, at this point, you now know how to get things up and running for your paper Minecraft server. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.